FIPS, the Fast Imaging Plasma Spectrometer, started with an idea here at the University of Michigan. The idea was to use a fish eye lens for particles that we had designed here to detect plasmas and particles in space. That idea was a detailed prototype designed and finally built and with the inclusion of two startup companies and over 45 students, a lot of engineering talent within the university, we ended up through multiple iterations, building an entirely new sensor, which was only half the weight and half the cost of traditional sensors. The instrument was finally delivered to Applied Physics Lab in 2002. The instrument then had to be integrated onto MESSENGER, the spacecraft that was bound for Mercury. Mercury, as you know, is much closer to the sun than the Earth. In fact, the solar radiation is 10 times bigger than it is on Earth. Therefore, it has to really get hot on these spacecraft, and the instrument has to survive that. So in order to simulate all these conditions on, uh, that, uh, during that space travel, we had to shake it, and we had to bake it, and all kinds of bad things happened to the instrument, all of which it survived, just was, like it was designed to do. After all this testing, uh, finally MESSENGER was launched in 2004. MESSENGER, in the meantime, has traveled about half a billion miles to get uh, to Mercury for the first time two weeks ago. And it's just a tremendous preview of what's going to happen in the lifetime of this exciting mission. Uh, we saw the first plasmas, the first particles uh, from the atmosphere of uh, Mercury and its magnetosphere, the magnetic protection bubble around uh, the planet. And uh, we'll do that two more times, once in October and once later. And finally, in 2011, we'll get into orbit around Mercury and really uh, explore this exciting planet in full detail.